So PJ, what exactly is concrete tobogganing? Well, I'd guess it's probably a toboggan partially made out of concrete. So it's not just one big slab sliding down a hill at high speeds? No, probably just the bottom part, but I guess that'd be the major concept. Yeah, what will these crazy engineers think of next? Well, basically, I don't know, but our engineers, a group of civil engineers, went down to Red Deer, Alberta to compete in a concrete toboggan race against other universities last week. Uh, yeah, and they bought, won a bunch of awards. Uh, I know they won one for Spirit. Definitely showed the rest of the universities how to take care of their jackets. So go check them out. Hi, I'm Megan Lenz and I'm reporting from the Edmonton International Airport where the Queen's Concrete Toboggan Team is about to head down to Red Deer, Alberta for the 2009 Great Northern Concrete Toboggan Race. Every year, teams of civil engineering students are challenged to design and build a toboggan with a running surface made entirely out of concrete. The competition starts with the technical exhibit day, so let's go check out what Queen's and all the competitors have to offer. For the competition, each team has to pick a theme. The theme can then be used to create costumes and cheers and the technical exhibit. The technical exhibit has to display your toboggan in an interesting and interactive way. The Queen's theme this year was 80s hair metal. For the technical exhibit, we had rock band playing, had a very hygienic tattoo parlor where people could come and get tattoos. The Queen's team also participated in a number of spirit activities throughout the day. But the reason why these teams come to compete at the Great Northern Concrete Toboggan Race is to race concrete toboggans. Sing! Queen's Colors Colors, we are wearing once again. Spoiled as they are by the battle and the race. Yet another victory to wash away the stain. So the race go in and win! Sing! Each toboggan has to be equipped with a braking system and a steering system. The steering was introduced by Queens in 2005 to the competition. Since then, it is now a mandatory component of every toboggan. Program. Each toboggan also has to be equipped with a full roll cage. Unique to the design this year, Queens added their slabs, which is the concrete touching the snow, on pivots attached to the frame. This absorbed much of the shock while going down the hill. The conditions in Red Deer were surprisingly warm. This meant that the wax that the Queen's team had chosen was not quite suitable for the competition. Thanks to RMC, who lent the Queen's team wax, Queen's was able to cut seven seconds off their original time. Congratulations, Queen's. That looks like a lot of fun and a lot of hard work. Queen's swept the awards, winning Best Technical Report, Best Technical Presentation, and Best Team Spirit. The final rankings aren't up yet, but I'm sure Queen's will be right up at the top where they belong. For QTV, this is Megan Lenz signing off.